Well, hello, I'm at Codwood Trails. Been here since daybreak. It's about 11 o'clock now. I've done probably about three clean outs. Getting ready to hit it again. Uh, let's take a quick look at the high banker. Oh, I talked about, you know, I have expanded metal, aggressive expanded metal in the top. And I mentioned before, a lot of people say, I'll take this out, but uh, I'm actually uh, separating the gold that I catch in the top box from the hog mats on the bottom. I'm going to do a separate clean out on that and I'll show you. But I know I'm catching a lot of gold in the top, and I know the hog mats would be just fine uh, without this. But one thing I like when you start hitting clay, it tends to really hang up and uh, uh, break up. That, that metal holds things up. And yeah, it slows me down some. I got to push the rocks out, but uh, uh, you know I can't dig that fast anyhow. And I tell you the truth, I like looking at rocks, so I don't mind. That's uh, you know shovel at a time, push the rocks through, and I'm catching some gold today. Uh, doing real good on on the fine gold. Uh, the hole right back here. Uh, I'm gonna dig it again. I've been popping hole there and over here trying to find uh, the good gold line there's a real heavy streak of uh, black sand through here so let's go start this up get rid of my pan had to chase my pan down the creek twice so far <laughs> get the harbor freight gone here we go. I'm gonna remember to turn the gas on this time. Be ready to go. Now, why is it it always starts except for when I'm filming? What do I do? Put the choke on. There we go. I'll straighten my hose out and get going. Everything's running really well. And I'll show you the clean out. I'm gonna dig for about a half hour, do a clean out, take lunch. See you later. Oh, the sun is coming out. It's actually getting nice. Cloudy all morning. Here, I'll show you this is running right now. Hog mats are running just perfect. Oh, my mat slipped. There we go. Here's a cottonwood here. This kind of material everywhere. It's like an extremely fine, uh, it's almost doughy, sandy, uh, clay-like material. It's not really a clay, but uh, here's a, here's what this uh, box does. This stuff stays up at the top, so I don't have to like throw it back in. I'm getting wet. So about 10 seconds, basically gone. Choose it up. Yeah, there she goes. Love it. All right, clean out in a minute. Okay, this is just a top box. Got some uh, picking up. It's, you know, not big at all, but it's uh, big. Right there is about there's about 20. Very small ones above my finger there. And there's another uh, over here, little piece. That's got some depth. That's as that's just not big, but it's uh, depth. So anyhow, uh, I'm gonna move high banker. It's my third clean out from that spot, and uh, I'm gonna move, eat lunch second lunch and uh, maybe go about another hour all right see you later okay here's the final cleanup on the left is the top box that's with the expanded metal and green carpet and on the right is the uh, hog mat in, in the main sluice box and I'd say uh, probably twice as much up in the upper box with expanded metal uh, that doesn't mean that the hog mat wouldn't have caught that on the bottom, 
but uh, again you can see that even up in the crash box they're having that expand and the carpet catches uh, um, you know at least probably about 70 percent of the gold doesn't even make it down the main sluice box so and also if you look it definitely catches the the bigger pieces there aren't, aren't really any big pieces here it's probably about a thousand small pieces but you can see that the bigger ones get stopped and they don't even make it out of the top box and everything down in the bottom but the hog mat uh, says that it catches fine gold too so that, that's good no problem there so okay that's it top box hog mat